Hey everyone, I'm Eric Rothschild from Garden Fork TV. Welcome to another part of our series of beginning beekeeping or beekeeping 101. Uh, the camera operator and I are documenting our first years of beekeeping. And this is hive number two we have here. Uh, hive number two is particularly cranky. Uh, the other day I was here and I just barely got the top off and they started, I got stung, so. Numerous times. Yeah. Um, was that pre-hurricane? It was post hurricanes. So maybe it's the foul weather. You never know. Uh, right now they're just flying around. They're throwing the drones out, which is kind of interesting. Uh, and when they get ready for winter, they kick the drones out of the hive because drones are useless in the winter. Who needs boys? Don't need any boys in the winter. They eat too much. We have here a honey super on top of the brood supers here. And you can see this little spacer uh, is a queen excluder. So that keeps the queen from going up to this top super and laying eggs. So the bees just put honey up here. And this, the honey super is the one that we want to take off and pull the frames out and extract the honey from. There's a couple of ways you can do that. Uh, the commercial beekeepers take the honey super off and they kind of like hit it with a very powerful shot vac and it blows all the bees off back into the hive. You know, they hold it here and they blow it off. You can also use, use what's called a fume board, which is a kind of like an outer cover with a piece of cloth or flannel connected to it. And then you use uh, some sort of essential oil spray which drives the bees. They don't, it's not a toxic smell to them. You know, this is a non-toxic one. But it, it's some sort of an essential oil that they don't like. And so they leave the honey super and they go back into the brood super. I don't like it either. It stinks, yeah. man. <laughs> and we've had mediocre success with that. So this, I, we're watching some videos on YouTube and one of them in particular by a guy whose name on there is Michigan Shooter uh, talked about making a bee escape. And so I made one uh, online. There's a bunch of plans, but this is one we made. Uh, basically, bees have, I can't really explain it scientifically, but bees like to go in a certain direction. And when you have sharp angles like this, I'm pretty sure they won't go back in. So this is a double, I think it's called a double three-way escape. And uh, there'll be plans on the Garden Fork TV site how to build this, some pictures. Um, it wasn't too hard. You can build it with hand tools. I have some shop tools, so I use shop tools, but you can build this with hand tools. The secret is all these gaps have to be at least three eighths of an inch. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take off the top honey super, take off the excluder, mm -hmm. slide this in like this, put the honey super back on and walk away. And the bees, when they want to cluster for the night, they want to go back into the brood chamber, they're going to go through this hole, out these exits. And they're not going to be able to come back up through here into the honey super. So we're going to come back tomorrow and take the honey super off and it will probably, hopefully, be bee free. It's like playing marbles with the bees. Yeah, so. <laughs> By the way, here's a pollen patty I put in here for rainy days. Uh -huh. Just give them something to eat, and they've been eating that. This is the cranky hive, right? Yeah, but they're beautiful bees. They really are a really nice color. These are, that we, we recreened this hive with a survivor queen, the winter hardy, varroa resistant queen, bred by a guy named Mike in Brewster, New York, whiteoakapiaries.com. So what's a survivor queen? I know you've told us before. A survivor queen is a queen that's bred to survive mite infestations. The, the workers that that queen produces have a mite resistance built in. I want to separate the queen excluder from the top super. Is it all propolis? It's all stuck together. What are you seeing? That's heavy. It's full of honey. That's full of honey. Okay, now we're going to remove the queen excluder. When we do this, they're going to fly up because they're not going to like this. Because this thing is glued on with propolis, which is a uh, they collect tree resins and things, and they chew it up and make it into a glue. This one's not too bad, actually. Sometimes these things are really glued on. That came off really nicely. The queen escape, 
the screen side goes yeah. down like that. These guys are much calmer today. The other day they were bonking me. Bunk, 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 bunk. I don't know if you can see this, but all these workers are looking at us. And we've smoked this hive, so they're starting to eat the honey stores. After you put on the outer cover, you want to slide it back like this so you block off the upper entrance of your hive because you have a slotted inner cover because you're, you should for ventilation. But just overnight now, we're going to close the top end, so we're going to pull the outer cover back like that, close off that front entrance. So they won't try to go in in the back? Uh, there's no way to get in the back. There's only a slot cut in the front of the inner cover. Got it. All right, day two, um, we're going to see. Hi. <laughs> they get very curious. Welcome to day two. We're going to see what's up here. Um, I'm going to try this without using a smoker. We have the smoker lit, but we'll see what happens here, okay? Wow. So there are some bees in it. One of the blogs I read that were talking about this um, said that they felt it was better to wait 48 hours. Okay, but there are very few bees in this. There's maybe 10 in here. A few guard bees? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this away and over to the truck. We're gonna brush those bees off. Is that what you expected? That's a lot. That's a lot of bees. But is that what you expected? I didn't know what to, I didn't know what to expect. It was kind of interesting. We're supposed to brush them off. Yeah, we'll brush them off in front of the hive. Okay. This is where we find out if they're really calm. Yeah. <laughs> but see how they're all going right back into the hive? <laughs> yeah. That's what they wanted all along. All right, there you go. Not bad. There were about ten bees left. We just took the super over there and brushed them off and they fly back to the hive. Uh, if you left this on longer, I bet they'd all be out of it. Um, there might be a better way to get the bees off the inside of this. We brushed them off and they seemed fine with that and they went, they just crawled right back into the hive. So pretty cool. More beekeeping videos on our site, gardenfork.tv. There's also a bunch of pictures of our Labradors and our bees and our garden and cooking gardening, DIY. I'm going to fix my truck later today. We'll make a video about that. So, all right. Send us an email if you want. Eric at GardenFork.tv. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, would you leave some comments below? We're also on iTunes and on our site. So make a great day. See ya. And the radio. Oh, and Garden Fork Radio, which is our iTunes radio show, which is just me talking about more stuff. All right. Thanks. Bye.